What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ty, here. Um, today, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about uh, 3DS Max and some of the new tools that they have uh, out. These guys have been taking giant strides, and um, I'm not going to pretend like I'm not the first to to give Autodesk a hard time for um, a lot of the stuff that they do, but with, with that, they also do care, right? They also... Uh, do have a team of people that are paid to kind of do this, over, you know, on a on a consistent basis. So uh, I try to I try to cut them a little slack every now and then. So uh, I don't like to toot my own horn uh, very much, and I don't do that on this podcast very often. I don't I don't because I'm a very humble person. If you can't tell by uh, the way that I look, I'm a very humble person. I I you know. Uh, it's, it's not a, it's not a fair criticism to say that I I might be too too humble sometimes right I might just be too humble I don't know I don't know ask my mom uh, but that's not the point that's not the point the point is I'm not here to brag I'm not here to brag but I did uh, first guess this uh, quite a while ago so last time Autodesk was here I asked them very pointed questions and I was I was very direct with my questioning. Um, if you need proof, I mean, I'm not going to act like everybody was watching it, but 23 people know that I, on this day, <laughs> December 10th, I, uh, Fatai, asked the questions that you all wanted to know. All right, so what are those questions you may ask? Let's dive in. So on, uh, I, even, I even made it into its own section. You can go watch the interview here, but the interview uh, is right here. So on one of the questions that I've cut out into a section right here, I asked these guys. With a lot of modeling tools and stuff like that, um, there's stuff like Moto out, and they have this really cool Boolean feature whenever you Boolean things that you're he creates that nice topology. When are we going to get something along those lines coming? Is that, is, is that at least in the, in the works or anything like that? that it's, a, it's something that is being looked at. It's something that's being looked at. Okay, so they said it's something that's be. I even wrote the question out here. When are we getting clean Boolean tech like Modo? It's something they're looking at, they said. Let's look at the date of this. This is December 8th. This is December 8th. Yes, I posted this December 8th of 2018. 2018. Right? I'm asking these questions. I'm like, yo, what are y'all doing? We need this stuff. And you know what they said? We're thinking about it. Well, people, think no further. Think no further. All right? Look no further. Think no further. I don't know how to say that, but let's check it out. Welcome to another quick tutorial on the retopology tools found in 3DS In this example, our model is made up of just a bunch of Boolean caps. So here are all the objects that I made to generate the mesh. I'll switch to wireframe. You can see the model actually looks pretty clean. But if we try to do something like add a chamfer modifier to it, you can see that it falls apart. The reason for this is we have several edges that are coming very close to the cut lines, and the chamfer runs into those edges. We try making the amount smaller, but you still see that there's still artifacts. We could try adding a weighted normals modifier, and it does help, but even with some tweaking, you still see that we have artifacts. Let's just delete those modifiers. Now let's get this set up for retopology. First thing I'm going to do is add a slice modifier because I want to make it symmetrical. I'll have one on my keyboard to go into subobject mode so I can manipulate the okay. slice gizmo. I'm going to let's rotate the gizmo 90 degrees. Speed this up a little bit just so we can get. I'll set the modifier to use adapted, which is one of the new algorithms we just introduced, and I'll set the edge length to two. Okay. That looks pretty good. 
So we'll go with that at the moment. Wait for it. Uh oh, oh, what's that? Instead of 5,000, I'm going to set the base count to 6,000. Auto edge with smoothing groups is good, so we'll leave that. Let's hit computer. Look at that! Good. Look at that, that geometry! Okay, so last year I got so tired of having to do this. I, I got so tired of having to, to you know, uh, find ways to go out to get different quantify meshes and stuff like that, that I even bought a plugin for it. It was like 20 bucks. Don't tell my wife, but I spent money to buy a plugin that now you guys just put in there. It only took you guys 10 years, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm here for it. Thank you, Autodesk. I want to thank you. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chastise you. No, I do that far too often. No, today you get praise. You get praise and adulation for the thing you have done. You did something good, and you should be patted on the back for it, right? We're not gonna talk about how you moved all the buttons around and you changed. 2021 20, around again. No, we're not going to talk about that right now. That's this isn't the place. This is a time to celebrate you guys actually getting decent retopology tools. I mean, you uh, if you're not giving them a round of applause for this, I mean, yes, guys, we can be cynical and be like, oh, everybody's already had this. Uh, we can be those people. Yes, we can be those people, but we're not going to do that. We're not. We are not going to do that. All right, it's 2020. They could have they could have done the opposite of this and took and taken out turbo smooth on you know, or something. They could have done that, but they didn't. They introduced retopology, and you can retopologize booleans. You can retopologize cat files. I can retopologize your mama. I might send me your mom, and I will retopologize your mama right now. I throw her, I throw her in 3ds Max, and I'm retopologizing everything now. Right? Okay, the, the reason this is so important is because it, it's all about workflow for artists, right? Artists have a certain workflow that they like to use. They, are, they, they, they have their, their, their path to getting a final product and putting these kind of tools in here makes it so that you don't have to leave 3ds Max to get that final product anymore. You guys get some decent sculpting tools and I mean, I'm starting to, to wonder, 3DS Max, are you really after our hearts? And I think, I mean, yes, yes. With these kind of moves, yes, you are after our hearts, right? I mean, this is, this is awesome. Good, good job. It's all about workflow. It's all about pipeline, students, right? Like, if you guys watch this, I'm trying to tell you guys, it's all about your workflow. It's all about your pipeline. And they are going to change the game with this, right? This, at, at the very least, brings them up to standard, brings them up to par with Maya. Maya already kind of did this. So like, I'm, like I said before, no, I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna be that guy. No, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you your flowers. I think I, that's money, but. Get it, 3DS Max, get it, Autodesk. Yes, good direction, this is, Really cool stuff. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to check this stuff out, definitely go and check it out. If you don't have uh, 3DS Max 2021, uh, if you have a student license, go and get it. If you have a purchase, go and get it. They didn't pay me to do this. They don't pay me for any of this. But yes, definitely, definitely, definitely go and check this out. This is awesome. This, this. Oh, you're going to make that, the, the, the weapon, the sci-fi stuff, retopologizing characters. This is going to be so much smoother. Oh, good well, stuff, guys. Good stuff. Y, good stuff. And we'll just adjust the... Yeah, I, I, I get the point, my guy. So, yeah, I mean, they, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. All right. 